through for if I'd never had a problem I wouldn't know that God could solve them I'd never know what faith in God if you believe that today give him a clap of praise Oh, come on, somebody give the Lord a clap of praise in it. Don't you stop your praise now. Don't you stand to your feet and give him some praise in this house. Give him some crazy praise. Give him some crazy praise. Woo! Hallelujah. I want you to look on this board. I want you to say it with me. Expectancy is the breeding ground for miracles. I want you to say it again. Expectancy is the breeding ground for miracles. One more time. Expectancy is the breeding ground for miracles. Mark chapter 2, verse 1. Lord, I've never been this Oh, you're sounding real good. Let's sing it one more time together. See the bright light shine. It's just about home time. I can see my father standing at the door. This world's been a wilderness. I'm ready for deliverance. Lord, I Lord, I've never been this homesick. Lord, I've never been this homesick before. How many is homesick this morning? Heaven sounding sweeter all the time. Church, I don't know if you know it or not, but this old world don't have much left to offer. And uh, I hope that you're ready. I said, I hope that you're ready. Because if you're not ready, you're going to miss that train bound for glory. I've got my ticket. I bought it. It's signed and it's sealed. And it's ready for delivery. They were profiling against Ruth because of her nationality. They wouldn't even let her get close to Jesus. Hannah could not get to God because she was childless. Esther could not save her people because she had not been invited into the king's court. Action is necessary and very important. Chapter 2, verse 4 said, And when they could not, come on, say, could, could not, when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. This morning, it's entitled, When Your Mess Becomes a Message. When your mess becomes a message, Father, I ask that you would anoint me. I ask that you would anoint the word. I ask that you would anoint the ears to hear. God, may we forget what we have to do this afternoon. May we forget what's going on tomorrow. But this is our time together in this intimate time of worship. God, I pray that you would allow no distractions. Somebody say no distractions. Take place here this morning. We give you honor and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Ever since the day you were born, the devil set out to destroy you. He doesn't like you. I used to take that personal, but then I realized it was... It was just the body of Christ that he did not want. From your mother's womb, Satan tried to kill you, tried to have you 
aborted, Satan trying to somehow keep you down so that you would never have a relationship with God. And right now the enemy is doing his best to destroy your walk with God. Why? Because God is about to give you a great turnaround in your life. May I say to you, I don't care how hard it gets. You've got to have the tenacity of a bulldog and bite on and hang on until Jesus comes. I formed thee in the belly. I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee. Somebody say ordain. Thee a prophet unto the nations. And said I, ah, Lord God. Behold, I cannot speak, for, uh, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. And whatever uh, I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid, say be not afraid, of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, says the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched the mouth, and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. Isn't that awesome? See, verse 10, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant somebody need to hear this today right now you are closer to God than you have ever been and Satan is tugging at your soul so hard you can feel the pressure of hell trying to stop you. Some of you have gone through some stuff. Say amen. Uh, I, I don't know of any. Look, the Bible says that it rains on the just and the unjust. We are not exempt to the attacks of the enemy, our adversary. But what we have to fight against the adversary is a great sword. Some of you are being touched by the hand of God right now. You say, Pastor, is all that is all that mess necessary? Yes. The Bible says that God inhabits the praises of his people. And when you get out of yourself, and you get out, hey, I hate pews. I told my church I was taking all my chairs out of the sanctuary because when you used to go to the temple, you didn't sit down on your derriere. You stood up and praised the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I know what some of you are thinking. But pastor, I'm just not that way. Ah! When the Chicago Bears are winning their ball game, you're jumping up and down in your living room, shouting unto them, I want you to know that God deserves our praise. He said, if you will praise me, I will draw all men unto me. This young lady right here is receiving surgery by the great physician I I don't know what's wrong with her but God is doing a work in her right now and when she gets out of surgery there won't be a scar sis I, I just drink it in just drink it in let God let God do what he's wanting to do Father we give you the praise and glory thanksgiving You are our great physician. You are our great physician. We call upon your name. Thank you, God, for healing. Thank you for doing surgery. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. God, prove the doctors wrong. Prove the doctors wrong. Let God arise and the enemies be scattered. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. 